All right, guys, coming at you today, talk to you about links. We sell a lot of aluminum links, and this right here is just a regular day of, we've got inch and a half all the way up to two and a half, different lengths, shapes, sizes. Um, you can see in the ends down there, there's all kinds of different threads and thread pitches. So a lot of people, whenever they call in, they have the questions of, what do I need? And to really be honest, we've tried to put in a few things to help you guys out. One of them is a chart that we're gonna link in the video, and then you're gonna be able to find this chart on the website where you order the links. So we're really gonna try to put out some of that information, and what that information is really gonna pertain to is the diameter of material, and that's gonna be a relationship of the weight of the vehicle and then the length of the material. So some of those things, it'll just kind of have to be where you got to study. And always remember this, if you're going to make a choice and you're kind of on the fence about something, always go to that next size up. If you're racing, go to the next size up. Stuff, it doesn't really, the difference between two and a quarter and two and a half in weight isn't really that much, but the strength difference is, uh, is a lot. And where we really like the strength at is in the diameter of the wall thickness where we've drilled and tapped it at. And then also just in the middle body to keep these things from bending. Um, 7075 is a memory material. It's the only material we use to build links with here uh, when we're doing aluminum links. So we've got the right material, but there's still a strength to that material. So just putting an aluminum link underneath your, your vehicle and saying, I've got aluminum links, that's not really all of it. You gotta know what length, what size to put that actually fits the weight and the length that you're going for. Um, we try to put it on there just as, as basic as we could, but if you're kind of on the fence, always go to that next size up. You're not gonna really hurt anything. So some people will call in and they'll be like, I can only clear this size material between my chassis and whatever else when all my suspension's flexing and I gotta have it this long. Always pick up the phone, call us, tell us what you have going on and we'll try to help you walk through it. Kind of part two of this video is gonna be on selecting what joint you have. A lot of times you'll have a joint that's in your vehicle that's already good and working and everything else, you just wanna replace the link. Um, we've had guys call in and be like, well, are they all the same or, or whatever? And no, they're not. Uh, you can see just from this pile right here, there's a lot of different thread sizes. Well, don't let that bother you on, you can't order links because you don't know what you, exactly you need. I'm gonna show you a couple of tools. It's probably the best way to measure it, but it's not definitely not the only way. Um, if, you do, if you can't call the manufacturer of where your joint come from or you don't know, then you've got to go through and actually manually measure it. So a set of calipers that you can get pretty much anywhere, Amazon, Harbor Freight, whatever else will definitely do this job. Tell us the OD of the threads. Then you'll need a thread pitch gauge. So these come with tap and die sets or you can buy them at Amazon or whatever else. But you'll need a standard or metric, whichever one your joint is. But then you just pick whichever part of this little gauge actually goes on here and lines up with your thread. So this is an inch and a quarter 12. I've got the little number 12 teeth out here and you can see they go right in there perfectly. So when I pull calipers, we're at inch and a quarter and then 12. So drop down the box on our website, you know you need an inch and a quarter 12. Then you gotta figure out if you need left hand or right hand. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. If that doesn't work, you got left hand. If that works, you got right hand. It's pretty much that easy. So when you know what joints you have that are on the vehicle that you're trying to replace the links at, then you can call and just give us the measurement from jam nut to jam nut. That's the length of the material. That's what we're looking for if you're gonna order online. Uh, now, always, it's a lot easier if you can figure out whoever made the lift kit you're trying to replace a link on, um, 
if you can call whoever built the buggy that you're trying to do and see if they know the thread pitch that's in there. Um, there's a lot of times you can just call somebody or try to dig up some information that'll tell you whether it's a 7 8 14 or whatever else you're looking for to do it. Or if, if you know if you ordered a certain steering joint that's a 7 8 18, then that's the type of thread you need to call in order. So if you see it in our drop down box online, you can always go through, pick that thread, right hand, left hand, we've got everything here. So if you don't see on our drop down menu the thread that you're looking for, you can always call in and ask, can we do a certain thread? This right here is a TerraFlex joint. It's an M30 by 1.5. We don't have that in our menu online of a standard thread that we do. Customer called in, asked if we could do it. We said, of course we can. Uh, there was a small setup fee to do it, but it's not much at all. But what we have to have is you have to send us one of the joints that you're needing to fit. Um, this guy had a right hand and a left hand, so he had to send us both joints for us to build him a tie rod. Uh, we programmed it, machined it. We're still within our week lead time, and we're getting him back a, everything in one box with his joints back, and we know that they fit. So to wrap up, go find the information that you need in order to order the links that you've got to have, the right ones. Um, know the thread pitch size that you're going for, and study that chart that we've got for you as far as length and diameter of material. Know that we can do some custom joints and we're gonna to try to get them done for you as fast as we can. But I hope this video a little bit explains on how to measure the thread depths, pitches, and then use that chart to pick the right material as far as OD and length go.